What's up Rebels, it is Chunky Monkey 40 here. Today we are at Cooter's Place in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Now this is the last Cooter's Place that I haven't seen. I've been to the Nashville location, I've been to the Lou Rave location, but I have yet to see the Pigeon Forge one. So be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to go and check out ChunkyMonkey40.com slash shop to get yourself some Orange Cars Matter swag and you know, they call me the general because I generally don't give a fuck. <laughs> I got stickers and of course koozies available on the website. Go and check it out, chunkymonkey40.com, link at the top of the description. Let's get into Cooter's Place. So right when you walk in, you got, of course, the merchandise. Then you got some newspapers from the show. Three local heroes stop illegal toxic waste dump. Tractor thieves are caught. The Hazard County Gazette. I like how Boss Hogs on the uh, cover for that. That's funny. Well, I don't think I've ever seen these before. The General Lee pennant. That's super cool. <laughs> a General Lee bib. And of course you got General Lee noogies for all the snowflakes who get offended by the Confederate flag. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I have this jacket. So Kid Rock's fiance, she sent me that hoodie for Christmas. Shout out to Audrey. She's the shit. They got the Hazard Nation documentary. That's a really good one too. All the cars are right here. I wonder if they have any of those General Lee ones that they had. Probably not, because they were sold out of those. I'm not seeing any. But they got the Duke's DVDs right here. I like this display. And then here's some of the museum. I really want to buy a Dixie horn for my truck, but I just don't want to spend the money yet. <laughs> oh, that raincoat is sweet. At Hazard Homecoming, I actually just bought one of these carrying cases. Los Dukes de Hazard. That's really cool. I wonder where they sold that toy. Spain or Mexico? One of the two. They got the racing sets as well. My buddy Pete has two of those. You got the electric racing sets. You got everything, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, that's actually set up down the there. Oh, yeah. Here's the racing set right here. And it does work, but the problem is, being so old, all these cars, the rubber wheels, got yeah. hard as a rock. So yeah. the car makes it around the track, and it gets to here and just stops. Here's some of the scripts from the show. Undercover Dukes, Cool Hand. Luke and Bo, Kale Yarborough comes to Hazard, a boy's best friend, and the Dukes of Hazard, the Sound of Music Hazard style. I like how tall the displays are in this place. Vote for Hog. Speaking of which, this is a great picture of him right there. I wish I could get that on a sticker to put him on the bullhorns I just bought that were signed by Sora Book. That would be really cool to put that picture on there. Here's some of the cars. Oh, these are signed by Tom Cemento. Tom jumped the A-Team van once, and actually, Pete Cochis owns that van. A prop from the Boar's Nest. Boom Boom Room. <laughs> and then there's the Bank of Hazard County book. I can't get a good shot of it because it is pretty lit in here. Oh, so these were screen used. That's cool. Hago Co. Oil and the Springs from Goodbye General Lee. That's cool. So those are props from the show. I've always wanted to get one of those Hago Co. Motor Oil cans. I've always thought that'd be kind of cool for my Duke's display. Whoa, dude, no way. That's the sign that was on the door for Ben Jones' dressing room. Man, that's cool. Here's a call sheet from the Duke's. So a call sheet, to my knowledge, is basically who's needed on set that day. Koozies! I like this. I'm gonna have to get this. I haven't seen this koozie yet. This must be new for this year. I like this koozie a lot, man. I'm gonna get that for sure. I also like this one too, though. I like how they're doing the full sublimated prints. That's awesome. Oh, this one's signed by Vance, too. I've never seen a lunchbox signed by Vance. I've never even seen Vance's signature, actually. Because for those who don't know, Vance unfortunately passed away a couple years ago. Catherine Bach Daisy Duke shorts from her very own clothing line. It's hard to see through these glass cases. You could sort of see them on in there. There you go, you can see them now. They got her signature up there. There's one of her shirts, I assume, too, from her clothing line. Some of the model kits. I've always wanted to get a ghost to the General Lee model kit. I just haven't, you know, gone about it. Look at that little General Lee bicycle and uh, Hago Co. gas pump. <laughs> I wonder if that was a toy they actually made or if they just kind of threw that together. That's cool, though. What are those, mittens? <laughs> Again, they really did make everything with the Dukes of Hazard logo on it. There's a sun visor. That's a cool Hazard kind of USA hat. I need a bag like that for my camera stuff, dude. Be cool. <laughs> Slippers. Those are actually pretty sweet. Here's some cast photographs right here. And, uh, this is another one of Ben Jones' outfits worn on the show. You can see he wore it there. Then once you turn the corner, you're in Cooter's garage all of a sudden. Here's the general right here. I like how they did, Shane did that same thing in his General Lee. He's got General Lee embroidered on the inside. And then the O1 in the back, that's awesome. This one's pretty much show accurate. The only thing is, is the dashboard is black, but at least mostly interior is tan. I like the rusty CNH 320 plate. 
This is cool. Here's Cooter's desk right here. He's reading the paper too. I like how they've put together pretty good props for this. They did a good job on this, and I like how you could actually walk through it too. Oh, there's the bathroom. I was looking for that earlier. The Duke Boys. Got some big descriptions on who they were, but everybody knows the Duke Boys. The Duke family history. This is pretty good information. Not a lot of people know this, so the Duke Boys, cousins Bo and Luke Duke, and their cousin Daisy Duke live in Hazard County, Georgia with their wise Uncle Jesse. Since the early 18th century up until the late 1970s, the Duke family had a tradition of making what was commonly known in Hazard County as the finest shine of this side of the Mason-Dixon. However, Bo and Luke were arrested, tried, and convicted for illegally transporting moonshine. Uncle Jesse managed to strike a deal with the U.S. of A government. He would cease and desist all moonshine brewing in exchange for Bo and Luke being released on probation. Corrupt County Commissioner Jefferson Davis Boss Hogg is Uncle Jesse's old moonshine running partner and is now the Duke Boys probation officer and is forever angry with the Dukes for foiling all his crooked schemes. As a result of their probation, Bo and Luke are not allowed to carry firearms but instead use compound bow and arrows tipped in dynamite. <laughs> now y'all come make yourselves at home in Hazard County. So once you cross the Hazard County line, you'll enter the area that they are currently expanding in the Pigeon Forge Museum. And in this part, they're building small replicas of some of the sets from the Dukes of Hazard. Like this one right here is the courtroom. This is the back corner that was up on the platform. Throughout the show, you see plenty of shots of the Duke boys in this jail cell right here. And it's pretty cool. You could actually go inside this jail cell. Just go right behind the bars and ah, you're in jail. This is cool to see this rebuilt. And they got, I think this was Roscoe's desk. And they got some fascias up of Cooter's garage right here, the original one. Over here, they're in the process of making a living room. So this is going to be the part where they build the bedroom and the living room that are all themed Dukes of Hazard. So I shot this video back on May 7th, 2022. And since then, these sets have actually all been completed. Here is the 80s style family room completed and actually decorated for Christmas. And if you look closely at the stockings, they actually say the names of all the Duke's characters. Like you got Cooter on the end and then Daisy, Bo, Luke, Uncle Jesse. I believe that's Flash in the middle with the dog on it. <laughs> but it's really cool and nostalgic. And then here is the bedroom set. It's very similar to what we saw in stores such as Nashville and Lou Ray with the Duke's bedding and curtains. And of course, Dukes of Hazard memorabilia scattered all throughout the bedroom. This is the bedroom I think most Dukes fans wish they had growing up. Big shout out to Amanda Lynn 88 on Instagram. She took these two photos and thank you very much for allowing me to use them in my video. Oh, this is awesome. And here's the boar's nest. You wanna know what's funny about this sign right here? So that's a PBR sign. I found that exact same sign in my grandma's basement in really good condition too. And that is the sign from the boar's nest. So that's awesome. This would be really cool if you wanted to shoot like a Dukes of Hazard mini skit. This is one of the sets basically reconstructed. This is awesome. And the bar is just like how it was. Dude, this is so cool. I like all the old school signs and shit up on the wall. Of course, Cooters has got their cups in the background too. <laughs> This is really cool. Got a pool table in here too if you want to play some pool at the boar's nest. <laughs> this part of it would have went into the kitchen on the boar's nest. Oh man, this would be the perfect spot for that Dukes of Hazard pinball game that someone made. They should try and get their hands on that. That would be awesome for their stores. And then you got Daisy's Jeep in front of the boar's nest. Man, that sign is really cool. I want one for my studio. That is sweet. And then you got Daisy's Jeep over here. Dixie. This is awesome. These Jeeps are really cool. Oh, that's sweet. So they're building what looks like a paper model of that street at the Burbank Studios where Hogs Bank was and everything. Man, that's going to be cool as hell. And then here's a model built by Tubio Bethards. He's a good friend of mine from Michigan. Shout out to you. This was in the Gatlinburg Museum, which the Gatlinburg Museum was closed and this museum replaced it. He built the Duke Farmhouse. I've never seen this one in person before. This is the last of his dioramas for me to see in person. This is too cool. They must have busted the glass in the case or something. So as you can tell, this location isn't complete yet. It's still in the works, but this is awesome. I like the way they're going with it, how it's got a lot of interactive sets and everything. Yeah, I'm excited to see what this location ends up like in the next year or so. I love this. This is probably my favorite part right alongside the boar's nest, is just seeing how they recreated some of the Hazard County courtroom with the jail and everything. So this is everything that Boss Hog owned in the show. I didn't know Boss Hog actually held the mortgage for the Duke Farm. I know he was always trying to take it, but man, so Boss owns the mortgage on pretty much everything in Hazard County, literally. The boar's nest 
Gas, Hazard County Bank, Cooters Garage, Hoggle Co. Oil and Petroleum Company, Hazard County Cassette, Hazard Phone Company, WHOGG, Hazard County Grits Mill, High Heavenly Hill Cemetery, JD Hogg Log Mill, Ice House, JD Hogg Real Estate, JD Hogg Funeral Home, Gravel Company, Painting Company, Two Unnamed Used Car Lots, and the Hazard County Coffin Works. Enish, you know what one casket said to the other casket? He said, Was that you, Coffin? <laughs> These are cool shirts. The boar's nest. What does it have on the back? Oh, I remember this shirt. I wanted to get this when I was in Luray. Okay. I just didn't know it was on the front of it. That's cool. Here's all the stickers. Let's see. This is the one that's on the bullhorns. They don't have one of the faces of the characters. That'd be cool if they did just have a circle or like an oval one like this size of Boss Hog. That'd be badass. I'll, I'll keep get one online though. But I am going to have to load up on some Duke stickers because I'm running low. There's Cooter's mo Motor Oil. Home Sweet Hazard. Did I get that sticker? I don't know if I did or not. I'm going to have to get that one again. Why not? Oh, I haven't seen these yet. Cooter's Place Knife? That's cool. Then they got the rebel flag knives over here. My rebel flag knife I got in Cheatham County is all messed up. wonder how much these are. 15 bucks? That's not bad. Let's see. What's the blade look like without stabbing myself? Ooh. I might have to snag it. All the shirts they've got available. Flash. That's a cool picture of her. Still brewing up trouble. That, that Jen Release shirt is really cool. Man, I wish I could do the Orange Cars Matter shirt like that. I have a shirt design that I want to do something along those lines, but I'm not going to say it on here. It looks like the flag's not there, is it? Oh, it just barely is, but yeah. It looked like the flag wasn't there for a second. I really want to get that shirt, but I just don't want to spend the money right now. Ooh, here's some more props. There's a candy holder from Boss Hog's house. Oh, and then this is the napkin holder. Pete has one of these. That's cool, from the boar's nest, from the first five episodes. I was just at the boar's nest recently, and you told me that you've been there quite a few times. Mm -hmm. You have some relics with her, don't I you? I do, I have some relics. One of my favorite relics is actually uh, one of the original napkin holders from the boar's nest. Dude, and that is sweet. anybody that knows the inside of the boar's nest, everything was red and black. Even the yeah. poles that held up the roof of the building were painted red and black and uh, that was kind of a, their theme but this is this is one here and a crazy story when Shane had his last Dukes event it was another kid that ran out in the back was searching the woods mm -hmm. found another one wouldn't sell it to me I told him dude I'll give you a hundred bucks for it right now because I want the twin to it but there could be dude, more dude that's crazy a piece of the boar's nest wall I have some of those in my truck I should bring that in and show it to them so the reason there's pieces of concrete is because they knocked out a wall to put another door in and some of the pieces of concrete still exist and a lot of people went back there and grabbed pieces of concrete. When I was in Covington, Georgia for Hazard Homecoming 2022, I went to the site of the original boar's nest from the first five episodes and found some pieces of the wall back in the woods. All of these pieces, including this one right here, comes from the spot where they knocked the door in on the front right side of the building, where it originally said Good Eats on the show. That pale green color you see is the primer for the building. The bluish gray color is the actual color from the Dukes of Hazard. And the more full blue color is from when they repainted it blue at some point after they filmed Dukes there. It's a pretty cool find, I'd say. It's one of my favorite and more unique pieces of my collection. There's a tail light, and you know it's legit because the Wayne Wooten tag is on the back of it. I'll have to flip the screen upside down so you can actually read it. And some CBs. I think that, is that the same CB that the General Lee used? I'm not totally sure. I don't know anything about CBs, so don't take my word for anything. <laughs> so how did I miss this? This is a big ass bucket of nothing but koozies. Man, this is cool too. Huh. It's just a big bucket of koozies. They have everything in there, holy crap. Yeah, I'm gonna snag myself this one. Oh, these are cool. Look at this mug with the horns through it on the money sign and then Boss Hog's car on the other. That is really cool. That's creative. And then the Dixie mug. Yeah, they got some cool stuff here. I've always thought these Rebel Flag cowboy hats are really cool. This document certifies that the product listed below has been inspected and accepted as a quality piece of Jesse Duke's farmhouse from the American television series, The Dukes of Hazard. This item is a piece of history and is authentic. So this is from the Duke farm. Man. One of the doors from the Duke farm. Here's the Roscoe mug, and they even got a flash mug to go with the Roscoe one. If I'm not mistaken, these are for all the Uno cards from the Dukes of Hazard. I have that card set, I just haven't looked at it in a while. I almost missed this as well. Check out that Dukes Fest hood. That is super cool. It's got the boar's nest back there. 
the original Cooter's place in Sperryville, Virginia. And then you got the General Lee jumping over Roscoe's cop car. Airbrush this, that's cool. If I had to make a guess, I would guess that this is probably from the Dukes of Hazard go-karts that they had at the Gatlinburg location. <laughs> that's cool. Little boar's nest. I almost missed this. Right as you're leaving, they got the Cooter's truck signed by everybody. You know what? Let's get a Sharpie really quick. Let's throw our signature on there. Everybody else signed it, why not? Where should I sign? Um, alrighty. Chunky Monkey 40 on YouTube, Orange Cars Matter. That's right guys, my signature is on the Cooter's tow truck. This country boy vlog signed the hell out of this thing. Holy shit. Why not? I'll sign the red too. This one I'm gonna write, Stay Rebel. Boom. Alrighty, we got a long drive to Michigan. So this is the inside of the Cooter's place car. Let me get my light really quick. Yep, I just jumped in. Tore at Cooter's. There's Tom Wopat's signature right there. Byron Cherry, I was just with him over the weekend. There's his signature. You got Rick Hurst, the only cast member from the Dukes I have yet to meet. I need to meet Rick Hurst. And then Tom Sarmento, I just met him finally over the weekend as well. Oh, and I like the General Lee helmet as well. Alrighty guys, we're gonna take the General Lee for a spin. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe. And with all that said and out of the way, I am ChunkyMonkey40 at YouTube.com. Stay rebel, y'all. Just some good old boys Never mean no harm It beats all you ever saw